You see what they're doing is they're giving big business to the cartels. They're helping the cartels because each person that is um, that has to pay money to the cartels and the coyotes to get into the United States is spending an average of around twelve thousand dollars. This is absolutely human trafficking right now. The cartels and the coyotes are making a lot more money running people across the border versus running drugs. But make no mistake, they're doing both. They are flooding our country with illegal drugs. This border crisis is too big to ignore. And that's why um, I wrote the America First uh, Act so that we can we can help save our border or, or America, protect America First Act so that we can protect our country secure our border. And this is an important, very important bill. It has most of President Trump's policies, border policies in it. Um, I'm encouraging all my Republican colleagues to co-sponsor this bill. It's a very strong Protect America First Act that will completely keep America safe, keep Americans safe, and make sure that we have a strong, secure border. Um, so the border is something that the Biden administration is just failing on. Kamala Harris, who the border czar, has not even been down to the border to take a look at what's going on, yet she's more interested in talking to the Mexico president um, about like a landscaping project where the Mexico president wants to plant all these trees going down through Mexico because he claims that's going to prevent migration and, and help with the climate. Yet who's going to foot the bill for that? Oh, yes, don't you know it, American taxpayers. And then he also has specific requests coming along with it that the workers that are hired to plant all these trees will also receive uh, work visas from America and receive citizenship from America. So not only are we going to pay for a landscaping project in Mexico, the American taxpayer is supposed to foot the bill. This is wrong. This is ridiculous. And this is more America last policies coming straight out of the Biden administration. I really don't like to see is it's not only the Democrats, but you're also seeing some voices come out and speak in in support of bringing people in for labor. And that's the uh, former President Bush has said that he wants to see more labor brought into our country. The Republican Party doesn't want to go backwards. We don't want to go backwards to the old guard, to the old regime, to the old Republican ways. We want to stay with America First policies, the very types of policies that President Trump laid out over the past four years. That is how we're going to save our country. Not going backwards to the old Republican Party, staying with what we have now and going forward with it and winning more seats with America First candidates and people who are committed to saving our country and not growing weak and allowing it to be slip, slipped and pulled away by the Democrats and their America last plans. You see, the Democrats play a lot harder than Republicans. They do not let up. But many Republicans are weak and they don't stand up to the Democrats and their radical policies. They cave in every single time. And we can't allow that to happen. 